G'day and welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Um, today I've got another product video. Um, what I want to go through, through today is our muzzle brakes. Um, we'll start with what I've got in front of us. New rifle, haven't quite brought it to the channel yet. Sort of, sort of a little bit. Remington 700, um, it's a 6506. Um, 27 inch barrel, MDT chassis, bits and pieces of ours. Not going to that really, just wanted to have a rifle up here with one of our muzzle brakes. This is the three port, um, same as what we've got here. It's our three port muzzle brake, probably the one that fits most of your lower end calibers and your um, normal 6.5 Creedmoor, um, the, the 308s, all that sort of bits and pieces um, is a great muzzle brake. This is what it looks like on this rifle. But listen, that's just there so you can see it in its home. I'll put the rifle on the ground um, and then we'll go through the brakes that I've got in front of us. Okay, in front of us are the three brakes I'm talking about. Um, and over to this side here are a group of brakes, um, both other manufacturers' brakes and then ones that I've custom made in my learning process of how I got to making brakes the way I make them. Um, what that was about, um, Really, without getting too much into the history of that side of things, these have all worked as efficient brakes, some more efficient than the others, some have better features, some have worse features, but things that I've done in going through that process. I've got them there, there's a few more I've used as well, but I've got them there as a display as to go through a little bit of the fact this wasn't just hatched out of my, my one night's sleep, this was actually out of years of developing something rather to make it work. These three are the main brakes that we have on our, on our site and what we're talking about. Our two port, which is this little short fat one. Um, the three port, which is a brake that um, I, I list this as going from really 6.5 Creedmoor and upwards into the lower end magnums. Um, works really well. Now you can use the, the two port for those, the 308 that'll do it. Um, the three port does a little bit better job and in my opinion when I've looked at them for a little while I prefer the look of the three port but the two port will do that and then we've got our four port. Um, both if you look at the side profiles of these uh, muzzle brakes there's these are 25 mil in their height these are 25 mil in the height and the four port is 30 mils in its height. There's also some extra width in the four port as well. Now the design of these muzzle brakes um, was specifically what I was chasing was a muzzle brake that was reasonably efficient. I wasn't trying to make the most efficient muzzle brake and you could make them more efficient with doing some angle slanting uh, back on there to make them make the gas go a little bit and make them a little more efficient. Um, but they still were reasonably efficient. But what I was really designing and what I was dealing with right from the beginning was trying to stop dust from blowing up on the ground in the prone position. So especially for us over here and lots of places in the world, you've got dirt, dust, sticks, whatever it is, sand, and you don't want it to blow around the place, then uh, when you're shooting on the, brown, on the ground, obviously a radial port is a terrible thing, but even when you've got a, a normal, you know, this for instance is a, a fairly standard looking muzzle brake here, um, which is flat sides once again, nice reasonably efficient muzzle brake, but the gases can still go down very much from, if you're looking from the muzzle, they go down to the ground as well as out to the sides. So that means that right down under your muzzle, you're not immediately, but just to the side here, you're still getting a lot of blast up from the air. So what I did with that design was make it so it's a lot wider, so the gas is coming a lot further out. You still get some gas touching the ground, it still ricochets out and comes down lower, but the pressure of the gas is a lot further away from the muzzle is, and that limits a lot of the gas into the air. So that was the basic design of this, and I found it to work really well. Um, in what I'd done and the process I'd been through, Got that was it. my focus, <laughs> found out which ones work nicely, Got and the they worked pretty well. Awesome um, what I, uh, a bit that was um, designed in, but not to be as efficient as what it is, is how these brakes actually limit percussion. Hit. We've had Beautiful. a fair Center few people target. who have got a Go muzzle here. brake, they're not <laughs> shooting in dusty conditions, they're shooting off a bench or stuff like that. But what they're finding, especially in the 300 wind mags and 3 throughout the pours and that size rifle, is a lot of percussion. Now what I'm talking about there, some people know, some people don't, is that when you've shot your Hit. rifle, is there's a bit of a boof uh, to your head. Um, almost gives you can give you the Target sensation of a, of a little you know tap on the nose. No um, plates, but it's the, basically that percussion shot coming against your head 
and that's causing um, in big rifles, uh, they used to speak about the guys using the, the big 50 cal or the 50 BMGs getting bubbles coming out of the corners of their eyes through the fact of how much air was shoved into their face. Not to at those levels, but I'm still talking the type of thing where you go and shoot 20 rounds with your 3 throughout the power and you're finding you're starting to get a headache, it's starting to get hard to do. Well, what we found with these brakes, people would get these, put one of our brakes on in the 3 throughout, that'll be the forecourt here, no problems. Shooting 100 rounds in the day was no longer an issue. Didn't cause any of that sort of stuff. And, and it's, it's as simple as there's no shoulders that blast that gas back into you. Um, without getting too complicated, it's, it's quite a simple bit of design, but it's, um, it's still quite effective on that score and works very well. So, listen, that's the, the basics of the brakes. They have, we've got good results from everywhere we've sent them. They, we've certainly liked using them. Um, I, I obviously like the look of them. I design them to be like they are. Probably a bit bigger boxy for some people, but the design of them is very much about that not blasting gas under the ground to stop the dirt and the rocks and the twigs and everything going around the place. Um, and like I said, doesn't stop it completely, but a great improvement from the, some of the other designs of brakes. They're a reasonably efficient brakes, so they, they, they you know, carry their own weight in that side of things for their size versus the amount of efficiency you get out of them. They work very well, and they're very good at shielding that percussion side of things. So anyway, that's the brakes. Um, in the way of what we can do with them, they come in different sizes. If you have a look, the two port comes in a couple of different threads. Um, the three and the four port come in a couple of different threads. With these two, it's the 5.8 by 24 um, and the 18 by 1. We can do custom threads for people who want to change the thread side of things and want to go with a um, three quarter by 24 or a three quarter by 28 or a seven eight by 28 and all the different threads. We can do those. It is basically, I have to put it back in the four jaw chuck, machine the thing up and cut a thread into it. There's a cost depending on the break and what that cost is. They can email us and I can let, know, let us know on that side of things. Of course, keep in mind, they are the type of thing that if you've got a good gunsmith, you've got a lathe, all that sort of stuff, it's pretty easy to do. The hard work is in the machining of the actual brake design. And although these are CNC'd, the threads on them as they are, they, um, to actually set them up in a four jaw chuck and, and put another thread into it is a bit of time, but not that big a fuss for any normal machine shop. So listen, that's the ports, or the other thing I should say is they largely come in this color you've got, you can see here, which is graphite black, the Cerakote graphite black. Um, we also do it in silver for people who want them in silver. We also have armor black, um, and those all those colours there, you just want the different colour, email us and let us know, um, attach it to your order, however you want to do that, and we can do that colour side of things. Same thing for the thread, email us and let us know. If you want a specific colour, there will be a cost to it. Those are all the colours we have, but we can do a specific colour if you want to go there. Um, last thing I touch on there is that I can build custom brakes for the bigger rifles. So the likes of for my 375 Shaytac or my Gibbs, the Shaytac Improved, uh, the likes of the 50 BMG, I've got big brakes on both of those. They're custom design brakes, um, but they are very specific, very efficient brakes. For people who want that sort of stuff, um, email us and I can go or call us, whatever suits, and we can go through the details with that, but not something we're trying to bring into the market at all. These ones here, which I'll go through once more, you've got your two port, which I really use for the smaller calibers. Um, and I've got really the only one we're running is on the 223, uh, but it's really in the smaller calibers. It will do up to the likes of the 308, um, 270, that sort of stuff. It will do that, but really, I, I really stop them in the smaller ones than that. These ones here, the three port, I use them from everything from the 243 right up to the 300 wind mag and find them very efficient. Now with that sort of stuff, whenever you're comparing or trying to work out a caliber to work with a brake, is the caliber isn't the only thing. If you've got a super lightweight 300 wind mag you're trying to use a brake on um, that's running a pretty hot load, then I would tend to go with a four port. I would tend to go with a bigger one, simply because the rifle's doing nothing. It's quite, it's whacking a lot, get some more efficiency out of your brake. Equally, you've got a moderately designed, uh, you know, even that's running a hot load, you know, like my 300 Win Mag, um, it's reasonably heavy, it shoots quite well. The three port does the job awesome. It works really well, very gentle to shoot, it works really nicely. 
But what I'm trying to say with that, it isn't just the calibre. It is also the rest of the rifle. If you're after lots of braking, regardless of your calibre, then step up a size in the brake side of things. And that's not for just my product, that's for everybody's product. You'd step up to the next level if your rifle needs a lot of braking. So listen, that's about it. Um, there are recommendations on the site for all these, all the prices on there, all the shipping's on there. Um, like I said, with the colors or threads or custom stuff, email us and the links there. Um, and that's uh, pretty much what I've got to bring you today. So thanks very much for checking us out um, and we'll catch you next time.